We're getting a closer look tonight at 6, what Indianapolis is now doing to stop the growing number of homicides and other violent crimes. As Dustin Grove shows us tonight, the mayor believes part of the answer is found inside the classroom. Inside the Finish Line Boys and Girls Club on Indy's east side, Jalen Thornton and his classmates are choosing a new chapter for their lives. It's easy to get distracted, you know what I mean? Distractions that do you in. Like, you just got to stay focused. They're focused on Pivot, a two-week community program aimed at young men and women ages 16 to 24 to connect them with mentors, educational opportunities, and how to find a job. We, as a city, want to help you to the next level. Mayor Joe Hogsett says education and employment are crucial to making the city safer, to preventing crime before it happens. That's why Indy's Office of Public Health and Safety awarded this program a $100,000 community violence prevention grant to expand. The mayor calls this kind of program an important part of the solution to try and turn this tide. But with another record number of homicides this year in the city, it is clear they have a long way to go. Now, several state agencies are making changes tonight after an independent review that took a look at law enforcement agencies, things like the state police and the Capitol Police. Want to let you know that state police have already implemented some changes, things like body worn cameras for all troopers and developing recruitment and diversity goals. In fact, we broke down all of the recommendations agency by agency. You'll find it tonight on WTHR.com with a link to the full report.